little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Hey guys, Big Square Road to Ruta. Let's talk silver again. Um, they have posted the amount of deliveries for the first day. Uh, biggest of the year, by the way. And let me show you that. First of all, silver and gold closed the end of the quarter on a high note, which tells me that maybe the shorts are not as strong as they used to be. Um, obviously, we've had some silver losses and gold losses taken by the big criminal riggers. And the end of the quarter, that's when they have to tell their accounting department what their book is. They got to mark to market, at least internally. They don't have to tell the world, but the but their risk department's now saying, oh my God, you guys are $10 billion in the hole. There's about eight of them. Should be about $10 billion by the time uh, Ted Butler does his next report. $10 billion based on when they bought and where their current position stands. That's a lot of money even for the big banks. So it's eight big banks, potentially BlackRock. They're going to try to hide it. But the question is, when is their risk department going to come in and say, hey, you got to close up shop. This is getting out of hand, like they did for Scotiabank that is still trying to work down their portfolio. So here it is. Right here was the first day of delivery contracts issued. Are those people who are filling the, uh, the, the demand for delivery and stopped? is the people taking the delivery out of the hands of the shorts. Basically, that's how it works. As you can tell, there's just a handful of big companies that are delivering silver now, and a lot of people taking delivery. Goldman Sachs for customers and home. I mean, 2,000 contracts is 10 million ounces of silver. That's a lot of silver to be taken into their warehouse. And that's exactly what they did, and it's... And the C is for customer and H is for um, their house account, which is Goldman Sachs' own account. So Goldman Sachs, who was obviously one of the insiders in the banking cabal, is taking massive amounts, 10 million ounces of silver, out of the um, out of the short's hands, standing for delivery. That's what stops are. The other big one, Macquarie, is a huge bank down in uh, Australia, almost 1,000. Uh, now here we get to see who is ponying up the silver. HSBC, one of the criminal riggers that I've been saying all along, is one of the criminal silver riggers. HSBC ponied up about 11 million ounces of physical silver. Scotia Capital that we've talked a lot about is, is booking losses left and right. They're ponying up 950,000 contracts. Almost 5 million ounces of silver. But that's the thing. And what you got to realize is that this is just the first day. Normally on the first day, you get about half of the deliveries uh, are notified. And I think the bank has the entire month to deliver. So I, I think right, right now the total uh, issued and stopped is 11,458. Uh, 11,458, which is 55 million, a little over 55 million ounces of physical silver just today or yesterday that have stood for delivery. The new numbers are coming out in a few hours, but this is going to go on all month and it gets smaller and smaller. Usually from what I've seen, Ted is the expert on this, but from what I've seen, the first day is the biggest delivery and it usually covers about half of what they're going to deliver for the month. So at 55 million ounces, you're looking at 110 million ounces looking for delivery in July, which is a big number. And the only place they can source that is leasing it from none other than these guys. The number one issuer right here, JP Morgan, 1,713 uh, contracts for their um, customer account and 5,975 for their own account coming out of the JP Morgan coffers. J.P. Morgan literally is the last guy to be holding physical silver. I think HSBC issuing those has more to do with uh, borrowed silver from J.P. Morgan. So HSBC is likely, very likely, the, the end of the line pony trying to get their hands on physical silver that they're going to lease from J.P. Morgan to fill delivery responsibilities. Of course, this is a naked short as well because 
once they deliver, they don't have control of that metal. And if they if they send it to, yeah, who knows where they're going to send it? The ETF, SLV ETF or other ETFs, you got multiple um, claims on that same metal. That's why you got to get out of all the exchanges and everything that you don't have metal in your own possession. You don't have anything. You got squat. So JP Morgan, over half, 30 million ounces they delivered on the first day. Over half of all the delivery notifications, JP Morgan delivered 30 million. Now, they're in their customer account, they have takers of 15 million of that. Uh, actually, more than like uh, close to 20 million. So, yeah, net net. Again, it's customer versus this is all coming out of their inventories. And JP Morgan's customers, who are they? Could be BlackRock. Could be the U.S. government, could be the Exchange Stabilization Fund. We don't know. We're not allowed to know. But out of their house account, it says right here, about six thousand contracts, which is thirty million ounces, out of their house account, and total is fifty-five million um, that has been called for delivery. Wait, thirty million, thirty million out of their house account. Crazy stuff, my friends, and it is as I'll show you right here. 11,000 contracts would be the biggest delivery, even if they stopped right now. This is the biggest delivery all year. As you can tell, in January, it was 4,000, or, or December was 4,000. January was 1,000. Uh, February wasn't a delivery month. March was 4,600, a little higher than uh, December. And then you had nothing much last year, about 1,000. And then 9,000 in May, which was the delivery month, that's for the whole month. We're going to hit over 20,000 contracts delivered this month, maybe way over that. Keep an eye on that number, 20,000. That's 100 million ounces of physical silver. Does JP Morgan have it? Probably. They've probably gotten rid of, on lease, probably 300 million ounces of their billion ounces, which puts them, if this comes true through the end of July, maybe have 500 million or 600 million ounces. I think September, which is the next delivery month, is going to be the mother of all delivery month. But right now, it could be July. We don't know. We're looking at one day, 11,000 contracts, which is 55 million ounces called for delivery. And JP Morgan is ponying up 30 million of them. Um, crazy days, crazy, crazy days on the silver exchanges. Hang in there. This is what happened last month. As you can tell, the first day is the biggest. Uh, hold on. That's copper. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not the biggest. Let's go down to silver futures. Here you go. For example, last month, 262 contracts on the first day, and the total was 441 for the month. It wasn't a delivery month, so it's low. This month, I'm thinking, already we know, 11,000 yesterday, and today will probably be maybe 5,000. And then for the whole month, we're talking over 20,000 contracts, which is 100 million ounces of physical silver, going out J.P. Morgan's door, probably on lease. If it goes to HSBC, probably on lease to HSBC or the other people. And it, I mean, you can just see the names right in this list here. These are the big silver players. These are the big riggers. These are the top eight. Goldman Sachs, Macquarie, HSBC. Scotia Capital, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, obviously, is the big monster. A.B. and Ambro, and Citigroup. Citigroup, interesting. They have a huge derivative book, the second largest in, of the American banks. And they are taking 812 contracts, which is what, 4 million ounces. What are they doing with that? What is... What are these banks doing dealing in so much physical metal? It's a rig job. You got to keep the metal suppressed if you're going to run an unbacked fiat monetary system. I will keep you informed all month on the private road at Road to Ruta. Um, again, huge month, the biggest month of the year in one day. So it's going to be a mega month for silver deliveries, which we've all been waiting for that. And that's great. When do I think it's going to blow? Probably September on September 11th, I would guess. <laughs> Why not go a full year, right? 
clearly it started September 11th when the repo attack happened. JP Morgan could be blamed for that. They they want to destroy the system before the election. They think uh, by destroying the system, Trump has no uh, power. I don't think that's true. But we'll find out what happens. Also, Cliff High's data. This is a web bot hit. Vatican prosecutor sees data from St. Peter's Basilica. He had it that the people were going to be going into the Vatican and pulling out some records to astound the world. And it might be angry mobs. And in this case, it's prosecutors. They're going into the church and saying, give me this information. Probably about the pedo stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of financial misdealings as well. But just the fact that that people are going inside and seizing data from the Vatican is a direct WebBot hit. Which is real exciting because it's the same WebBot stuff that was talking about $600 silver and $5 silver days in the near future. That's all happening right now. Also, if you haven't heard yet, uh, there was a recorded conversation of the Collins County uh, Commissioner's Court. And they have changed the definition of what a COVID case is to not only, basically, if you have one person that has COVID, and they are in close contact with 15 other people. They count that as 16 COVID cases, even though none of those 15 people have been diagnosed with COVID. That's why the numbers are going through the roof. They are lying their asses off. Here's Chris Hill, the Collin County judge, talking about it. Potential to be a very significant event for us here in Texas and here in Collin County as the state now has, has elected to adopt this new probable definition. If you'll go back one, Mr. Bilyeu, as it's displayed there on the chart there, the yellow box, the blue boxes, and the green boxes. If you have any two of those three colors, then then you will meet the definition of probable. If you have a subjective fever and you have a headache and you live in Collin County, you now meet the qualifications to be a probable COVID patient. It is remarkable how low the standard is now. Mm-hmm. If you have one of the major um, symptoms, you have a cough or you have shortness of breath and you live in Collin County, then you can satisfy the definition for a probable COVID case. But I'm very concerned that we absolutely could see the numbers jump uh, very rapidly in a way that actually is not indicative of what we're seeing here in the community in the public health department. The probable case numbers are about to about to shoot up. And- there you have it. That's why the numbers are going up. That's why they want to shut your business down. Because they're liars, cheaters, and literally, they're trying to destroy our country by destroying your business, your job, your freedom. The COVID numbers are a lie. They changed all the metrics. Now it's probable cases count as cases. And the probable cases are if you were in contact with someone who had COVID, then you are a probable case. It is insane what they're going away, getting away with. This has to stop, my friends. This is insanity. Fight the good fight. That's all I got for you right now. Stay in touch. Join Road to Ruta. Go to roadtoruta.com. Hit subscribe for free. Public road updates. Put your name, put your email in, and I will be sending you emails. I will be screaming from the rooftops. Hang on to your freedom because it's more important than COVID. Absolutely. COVID is 100%, 100% a political toy now. And he's scaring the crap out of people all over the world. And this is proof positive that they are lying about the numbers. In the last three weeks, they decided to bump them 15 to 20 times because they're counting anybody who has been in contact with somebody uh, who has COVID. All Everybody who they're in contact with is now officially designated a COVID positive case. This is insane. Hang on tight, my friends. It's going to get ugly. This is Bix. I'll talk to you later.